It's a people-powered pottery wheel. As we like to say that it's a, a people-powered. It's a people-powered pottery wheel. How do you say that five times real fast? In 2018, we came across a video of somebody in Hungary who had made bicycle-powered pottery wheels and just thought like that would be such a fun addition to our Cleanmobile hands-on clay programming. We received funding from PNC Arts Alive and that helped kick us off. And we had a lot of fun working with Haley Trikes to design it over the course of probably about eight months and we came up with this contraption here. took a little design work, a little improvising, combined elements of different really old and really new designs to get the pottery wheel to spin. We also wanted a functioning bicycle or tricycle, so we designed it where all the materials and the tools could fit inside the cargo box and then someone could ride it to the festival. So it can carry stuff inside the box. When it opens up, you can also use it as a display area for things that have just come off of the wheel. So we were worried about a lot of things, technical issues, centripetal force. We were trying to figure out how to turn the wheel without moving the bike once we arrived at the festival. So we came up with a, a way to operate it where pedaling forwards operates the bicycle and spinning backwards makes the pottery wheel spin. With the pedaling, you have to really sort of get your momentum and sort of keep a steady pace. When somebody pushes hard, you have to pedal harder. If they push hard without warning, you just, everything just stops. You have to talk to your, your rider and kind of face each other and say, you know, a little faster, a little slower. Jen was really adamant that the person riding the bike and powering it would face the person who's throwing on the wheel. Just the idea of um, looking at someone and really being able to communicate with a complete stranger when you're trying to create something, to me, was um, exciting. Frequently when we do festivals, we, we do a hand-building project or a group sculpture, but people are so fascinated with the wheel. And so just get, making it possible for people to do that and then adding this little twist. It obviously highlights the organization. You know, it brings attention to the material and clay and we just like to be more accessible and show up at festivals and join in um, the fun. Being able to ride this bike to a park or just down the street and really get the message of the clay studio and how fun it is and how creative it can be directly into those neighborhoods has been really impactful. I'm always shocked that people will literally line up and wait for an hour. It's like a Disney ride, right? There's just magic in it.